Okay, progress report at the farmhouse Sunday evening. Uh, Jim today has been busy patching walls. We had three huge holes in the wall in three areas. This is the master bathroom where somebody kicked a huge hole in the wall. They seem to like to kick holes in, in the wall and doors. And I have been spackling walls in the master bedroom. And so it actually looks much cleaner now that the spackle is up and all the holes. I tell you, they must have put a hole or a nail or a screw every square six inches in this room. I mean, they must have been hanging everything on the walls. That's how much spackling I had to do. And then here in the hallway, there was a big old hole in the wall where somebody either put a fist through or a foot through. And in the room that's gonna be our walk-in closet, Jim also repaired another big old hole in the wall. We don't know if it was a kick or a hand punch. And in the meanwhile, I've been doing a little spackling here and there and pulling nails out of the walls and doing little patch-ups. And there's another fist punch, I believe. And this is in the hallway bathroom. So what I've been doing here today is getting rid of the big old gouges and holes and scratches and nail holes that were in the hall bathroom. And... Uh, spackling over some little sections that pull back from the bathtub and so we're getting there and then my big project today go through all our packing mess that still have is I have been painting the ceiling including that huge beam that goes across splits the kitchen in half the uh, ceilings are now painted a bright gloss white, and I'm just thrilled to death how much lighter the whole interior of the house looks. Although I'm gonna have to go back and put a second coat on it, unfortunately, which I'm not too happy about, but you know, you gotta do it. And spackling these little, you know, these people had more nails and screws and all kinds of stuff in the walls. It was just unbelievable. It sp I spent hours spackling. So the, the spackle's still drying there. It's still just a tiny bit pink. And so in the meanwhile, I was painting the walls that used to be this horrible, horrible. I mean, who puts this ugly, gross, dark brown on their walls? And so I started over here next to the old kitchen with our little stacked freezer, refrigerators here and started painting over the brown as well as getting the gloss white ceiling going. And as you can see, the whole room looks much brighter, much airier. Uh, it's amazing how much this has opened up the whole uh, living space you know, it looks twice as big now that's our equipment and tool table during the renovation so let me go back into the corner here so this is what we're still looking at uh, in the house so this is the main living area which i think is probably about a thousand square feet and this kitchen, all these cabinets, all the appliances, everything will go away eventually because we're gonna be putting our brand new kitchen over here in this corner, making it more compact and smaller. And we're even gonna put the refrigerator in the pantry, which is that room over here to the right, the door in the hallway. And we also, figured out how to turn on the outside light on the back porch. And of course, it's still a work, on, work in progress. And again, it's a fixer upper. So stay tuned so you can find out what happens after we get the contractors in for the next couple of weeks.